What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel again. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe. If you are returning, welcome back. So today, we're gonna be doing a stud conversion kit on the F30. I'm over at my buddy Eric's house. He's gonna let us use all of his tools and we're gonna get this knocked out. For today, I'm gonna be doing the motorsport hardware kit on the F30. As always, everything that you're gonna to need to do this yourself and install these, I'm gonna link it all below so you can quickly grab those if you need them. And I'll quickly jump into what all those parts are. So without wasting any more time, we'll go ahead and get started. So to show you guys all the tools that we're going to use here, we're going to first, you're going to need a good jack to get the car off the ground, of course. Today we're going to be doing the 78 millimeter stud conversion kit. And um, we've got our five millimeter Allen key to tighten those down. We're going to be using Loctite on those threads as well. Um, to get the actual current um, bolts off, we're going to be using an impact drill with a 17 millimeter sleeve. And then to actually tighten down the new bolts, we're going to be using our torque wrench here to make sure we tighten those down to the appropriate measures. But we'll go ahead and get the car jacked up and get started. First, you're going to take your impact drill and go ahead and take out all the lug bolts that are currently in there. All right. So once you got your lug bolts off, we'll go ahead and take the wheel off. Move the wheel off. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take your studs and you're gonna take the side right above the hump, which is the shorter part of the threads. You're gonna put just a drop of Loctite on that and we're gonna go ahead and get it started. You're just gonna hand tighten this down for now. We're gonna go back and actually tighten it down all the way with our Allen key. So the benefit of putting studs on here, not only does it make taking the wheel on and off easier, but it also makes your, it's also stronger than your lug bolts. But mostly because it makes it easier to take the wheel on and off. All right, so once you get these studs on here hand tightened, we're gonna go back with our torque wrench and our five millimeter Allen key, and we're gonna tighten these down to 24 foot pounds of torque. And you'll just hear the torque wrench click once it reaches that weight and as you can see it does start to spin so if you need someone to go put their foot on the brake do so all right so now that it's getting starting to get a little bit tight once i start pushing it you'll hear the torque wrench click which means it's at the correct uh, poundage as far as tightness all right so that's it right there and we're just going to go around and do the rest of them that way as well Got trusty Eric Grand Tour F30 on my brake pedal right now, holding everything down for me. Okay. Eric, we're spinning a little bit. Yeah, there it is. tighten down and they should be all secured on there just fine so next we're going to put the wheel on and then we're going to tighten down our new lug nuts on there all right so we're going to toss our wheel up on our studs now right and we're going to take our bolts or our nuts i should say and go ahead and get them all hand started.
flip directions and we're going to tighten these down. Make sure when you tighten these down, you do them in a star pattern. So you want to zigzag across to a star pattern, make sure it's evenly secured to the hub. All right, now that we've gotten those tightened down with our drill, we're gonna go back with our torque wrench and tighten these down to 104 foot-pounds of torque. Now to do this, since the wheel will spin if you start to turn it, we're just gonna drop the jack down just enough so that it makes a connection with the ground to keep it from spinning. Now we've got a little bit of pressure from the car, we'll go ahead and tighten these to 104 foot-pounds. All right, once again, just listen for that snap. Make sure you do it in a star pattern. Okay. All right, so that's one wheel done. Now we'll go ahead and get started on the other three. installation of the stud conversion kit on the F30. Now I do highly recommend this as an upgrade. It makes taking the wheels on and off so much easier. Now, if you guys need to do this to your own F30, I'll have all those items you need linked down below if you wanna go ahead and grab them. I wanna give a huge shout out to Eric or Grand Tour F30 for letting us use his space today. Make sure you go check him out on Instagram as well as Blue F30 who came and stopped by to hang out as well. And if you guys did find this video useful or enjoyed the content, please go ahead and throw me a like down below to help support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I do have a lot more future content coming out and make sure you do check me out on Instagram as well. I've got daily posts on there. Feel free to start a conversation. Other than that, guys, that does sum up today's video. I appreciate you guys checking in and I'll see you guys in the next one.